So the by-elections are over, the results are in, but the financial world keeps on turning. Good morning, Jasmine. Hello, Bear. Can we start this morning, if we may, with a bit of a spat between, I think it's Uber, and is it Uber and Google over electric cars or driverless cars? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's quite a, a fun one, in a, in a way. There's a bit of um, uh, spying going on, apparently. This is, this is what Google says, anyway. Um, Google says that somebody who used to work for them, uh, Mr. Lewandowski, downloaded 14,000 highly confidential and proprietary design files while he was a Google employee and uh, then moved to get over to um, a company called Otto, which is Uber's self-driving vehicle unit, and um, took all these secrets with him, they say. So this is, this is a bit of a spat that's going on. And uh, Google, as we know, has very deep pockets, so it'll be very interesting to see um, what, what actually, how, how Uber responds properly to this. And also, staying on the theme of transport of the future, electric car makers are very concerned about some hedge funds stockpiling cobalt, and the price have shot up recently. Yeah, it doesn't this make you just weary? You know, the, the moment you, you get something that, that is needed, you have hedge funds stockpiling it. So, in other words, the price, they're, they're making sure that the price of cobalt, which um, apparently is, is something that, that goes into, as you say, these battery cars, it's, it's an essential, it's a, it's a rare product, and it's an essential product that goes into these batteries. Um, they're, they're pushing the price up, um, and suppliers to Tesla and other car, electric car makers are trying desperately to get shipments of, of uh, cobalt um, after these hedge funds have amassed a large stockpile of them. It's just you just think, oh, for goodness sake, you know, it's all about the money. Basically, it's all about the money as far as hedge funds are concerned. Um, and this is going to put the price of, up of, of electric cars generally if, if this continues. And, of course, there was a time when, for example, bauxite, which we now call aluminium, was one of the rarest substances on Earth. It was worth far more than gold, far more than platinum. Then, of course, they found a way of manufacturing aluminium. And people are working now, even as we speak, on having some kind of fake or synthesised cobalt, in which case all those hedge fund stockpiles will be practically worthless. Yeah, good. And, <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> I think we can sort of jump about going, no, 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 no. You know, <laughs> because, okay, it's what they do. So it, they, they are hedging, admittedly. That's what a hedge fund does. Sure. Uh, pulling it together. So basically but, they're yeah. versions of Bet Fred or Paddy Power. They're bookies, basically. Yeah, aren't basically, they? Yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> Let's turn, if we may, then to Vauxhall's future in this country. Lots of fears for Midlands jobs over a Peugeot takeover. Yes, absolutely. They're, the Peugeot are, are using that, that uh, worrying phrase, um, having speedy savings, which, which basically means getting rid of jobs. Um, so that if, if they do buy um, you know, the, the, the loss-making business, um, it, the first thing they are likely to do is to see just how many jobs they can cut and how quickly they can do it. Um, hey, it's it's understanding understandable if it's a loss making uh, uh, brand. They're going to look to see how they can save and yeah, regularly it's jobs that are the easiest ones and and the, the quickest way to make significant savings. But um, this is this is not good news for for the workers. Not good news for. Britain either. Um, last thing we need is to lose more jobs. Talking of job losses, John Lewis is battening down the hatches and not because of Storm Doris. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, and this is a surprise because, as we know, John Lewis has posted pretty, pretty healthy profits for the last few years. You know, every Christmas you go, oh, look, you know, John Lewis is doing well. Um, but no, they are saying that 2017 is going to be a tough one for retailers, tougher than it has been. And they're talking about uh, getting rid of quite a number of, of, uh, of um, jobs. Um, well, when they say jobs, their staff are known as partners, um, and it could affect 773 staff, although um, they will be, get the chance of securing sort of half of that number again, sort of 386 new roles. Um, so this means that some people will lose their, their positions totally, while others will have to look out elsewhere. And this is particularly going to affect the, the food part, the place to eat, which does very well, as I'm sure you know, um, and also the, the fittings side, you know, those people that go out and uh, fit your blinds and all of that.
And finally, let's look at the um, the saucy lingerie manufacturers and designers. I suppose they've had their, they've peaked, if you'll forgive the expression, with Valentine's <laughs> Day. Agent Provocateur in a bit of trouble. Yes, you know, I, I was quite interested in this because I... And so I've was I, never, Jasmine. Yeah, I mean, really, really. Um, I've never actually been in one of the shops because cause I've always, I've looked at the window, so, oh, you know, look at her, better than she ought to be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I always just should think she is. And then I look at the price and think, oh, how much? Yeah. But, yeah, that's, that's what stops me. But um, then, yeah, apparently, I mean, it, things are, are on a knife edge to the point where they're talking about... Well, they're, they're saying the staff will be paid next week, but then after that, really not sure. You know, and when you look at, I know, you know, about running a business, when you're saying, yeah, we can pay the staff this month, but after, that means that really cash flow is really seriously affected. And they have had some very high profile locations. There used to be one in Soho, as you might expect, in London, but they've yeah. also been in places like Mayfair, mm-hmm. and they're sold in some of the top stores worldwide, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. I go to Boston a lot, and, and there's one in their, their very posh street, um, Newbury, Newbury Street. There's there's one there. And, yeah, so, so you're talking, uh, when you're talking about staff, we're talking staff all over the place. See, maybe, maybe these hedge funds need to start stockpiling peephole bras. Well, that's a very good point. Yes, that and tassels. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, thank you very much. Have a fantastic weekend, Jasmine. Great fun and hugely informative as ever. Jasmine Birchall's there for...